Neurons are extremely polarized cells, extending axons and dendrites long distances to form connections with other cells. Zona provides easy-to-use culturing platforms to study these neurons in their unique polarized form. The chip, what it does is linearize the axons because it's got this ladder structure in it, so it's very, it's straight channels. So when the axons grow through the channel, they tend to be linearized. For the most part, they grow straight through. Zona technology helps enhance neurodegenerative disease research by giving researchers more control. It's very useful for experiments because you want to see the producible result. You don't have to have any kind of special equipment to get it going. Almost any lab with a standard cell culture setup can get it going, and it's reliable. Every time I've used it, the cells come out the exact same way, given the same conditions, and uh, it's a really easy, simple thing to use. We have used it for both stem cells and primary cells and have had excellent results. Zona chips are highly, uh, are really compatible with high resolution, live and uh, fluorescent imaging. The Zona chip is really clear and you can place the Zona chip as it is on the microscope since it's, it's a standard size as well. Neurons grow much better for longer periods of time in the Zona chip. In particular for hippocampal neurons, we've found that we can isolate axons for up to three, even four weeks. What we found when we've plated human stem cell derived neurons is that Within the Zona chip, the cultures are much easier to visualize because they attach very evenly and uniformly in the Zona chip and extend really long, healthy axons in that chip. I have used these devices to do some axon injury studies, where, which has been published in one of my recent papers in Nature Communications, and where we actually performed the axotomy and then looked at how the somatic re remodeling happens after the injury. To my knowledge, there is no product on the market currently like the Zona chip. It uh, offers much, much lower cell toxicity in my opinion and much, much more reliability as a result. Uh, cells always look the same when I culture them with the Zona chip and uh, less variability from, you know, one primary cell culture to the next, which is really good for a scientist that want to kind of control as many variables as possible and have very reliable, not variable results and it is ready to use. They're all pre-assembled and they all come as a pack kit and they come with a PDL solution as well, like all different coating solutions the Zona provides. A compartmentalized approach allows us to study microenvironments that are exposed just to axons and synapses, whereas that can't really be studied in vivo. 2005, the Nature Methods paper, we kind of refer to that as sort of the landmark paper because when that got published, it got a lot of exposure and that led to a lot of increased demand for this type of technology and there was no one to produce it. And that's kind of where we started the company and tried, we're trying to fill that gap. You know, it was really a collaboration amongst, you know, each person bringing some, you know, asset to it and then putting it together and, you know, you sort of get rewarded because you do one thing and, you know, you think it's a little difficult and it starts working. And then that brings on the next thing and you say, wow, this is really going somewhere now and it's exciting. Because we have been right on the forefront of neuroscientists' research needs, we were able to really understand how they are using our basic technology. From that basic information, we were able to come up with the Zona chip. The Zona chip is much more effective than the other silicon-based um, alternatives that are available. Silicon is toxic to neurons to some degree because of its ability to absorb things from the environment. With the Zona chip, it's made of plastic. You don't have to worry about that at all. We can use phase contrast, DIC, um, high resolution fluorescence microscopy, confocal imaging. Um, it's just as compatible as with the, the uh, cover glass. The Zona chip provides me with advantages because it is pre assembled, and that allows me to save time, solution, and it's more reliable because. I'm not having leaking that might occur with PDMS devices. Other products, they can be a little bit hydrophobic, and so it's not as easy to get liquid into the, into the device. And with the chip, the liquid flows in readily. So we feel it's, uh, it's an improvement and a much more user-friendly platform. The Zona chip definitely improves my efficiency. With past experience with silicon-based devices, I'd get maybe one or two out of five uh, chambers that really looked how I wanted. Zona chip videos and tutorials, as well as the customer service that Zona Microfluidics provides, is very helpful in utilizing the Zona chip. 
Yeah, everybody sort of saw it and said, wow, that's worth looking at now. So then you provide a service for people that enables the use of this for other investigators, which is how science is supposed to work. We distribute the device uh, through many different distributors, both in Asia and in Europe, and of course in the United States.